This song is an interesting case of parallel minor and borrowing chords from bright keys. So let's see where we go starting with C minor. The first key is C minor, which is the relative minor of E flat. So here's E flat. The relative minor is the sixth degree of the scale, and that's this. So a lot of the first part of the song is based in C minor. And it plays around with uh, this chord right here, F over A. It goes down to A flat major 7. So how do we get from C minor to the middle section of the song that's in G sharp minor or in B major? And I say B major because it's actually easier to describe it in terms of B major because the tonal center is always shifting. It's not really G sharp minor, it's not really B, it's also not really E, but it has a little bit of each of those tonal centers. The modulation from C minor to G sharp minor or C minor to B is not that out there. We have the A flat chord. And the A-flat chord, A-flat major 7, turns into an A-flat minor 7. That's it. It's a parallel minor. It's a beautiful step down from G-sharp minor to E major. So it's G-sharp minor. A B over F-sharp. I mean, you can consider it an F-sharp chord, but I'd, I'd say it's a B over F-sharp and then the major seven. And now we go into E major seven. And that's our landing point. I see you on the horizon. In the key of B, E major 7 is the 4 of the scale. So we go from 4 down to 2, which is minor. And we do a minor 6 chord. This is the minor 6. Then we go up to D sharp minor 9, which is pretty jazzy. and we return to 4. The E flat minor 9, this is a Lydian sound. This is not in the key of B, for sure. B Lydian is... So that definitely comes from B Lydian. As you'll see, we'll get a super Lydian sound later in this progression. But now we go to an E major 7, right? The chord that follows after the E major 7 is also another chord that's not in the key of B. It's an A Lydian sound. Mm -hmm. 
and it goes to an E flat dominant seven chord with a flat nine. You can think of this as a G completely diminished seven over an E flat. And then it goes to a G sharp minor, F sharp, and then an F minor nine. This chord is super Lydian. And why is it super Lydian? All right, so let me pause right here just to let you know that I loosely speak about Lydian in the following. I'm loosely interchanging Lydian for brightness. So here, Lydian means going in the direction of fifths and borrowing chords from those keys. It's not exactly the way Jacob Collier thinks about super Lydian chords, but rather the larger grand idea of brightness. All right, so let's go back to the video. Well, remember, we're in the key of B. B Lydian is a sharp four. Now that's actually the fourth mode of the F sharp major scale. So here's the F sharp major scale. Now let's do F sharp Lydian. So now that was the Lydian of Lydian. So remember our root scale, the Lydian of that scale, now that Lydian in its first mode, now the Lydian of that mode, and you can keep doing that pattern again, this would be, and you do the Lydian of that, keep going, keep going. But my point is that the F minor is actually in super Lydian sound. Now we lead back to the progression that began on E major and repeat it again with the flute solo and not so much the lyrics. Now we just vamp on that F minor 9 chord. This F minor chord comes from A flat. This F minor chord is the Aeolian mode of A flat major. So A flat major, the sixth mode of A flat major, and that's where we get our scale for this chord. Now that chord doesn't necessarily imply a D flat, but it also doesn't imply a D until we say so. In this case, the D does come along uh, later on with the flute. Now that's the Lydian of A flat. So we went from B to its Lydian to its Lydian to its Lydian. Now that is some beautiful modulation. We went from C minor, C Aeolian to B major slash G sharp minor, and we went to F Dorian. This is a great example of some of the modulations Reign of Kendo uses. Hope you enjoy this analysis of Dust by Reign of Kendo. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this song and its modulations? Weird or not so out there? If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more harmonic analyses like these across a variety of genres and styles. So we'll see you on the next one. I'm not just names of one